Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to the Coffin Comics Shopping Network. Happy May 4th. So may the 4th be with you right now, everybody. For a couple minutes. Boop doop doop boop doo do Good morning everybody. Oh wait, good afternoon everybody. It's May 4th. May the 4th be with you everybody. Hi, how's it going? Hope everyone had a great weekend. Hope everyone had a better Monday. Definitely better than me, because it's definitely a Monday. Anywho, um I got some really cool stuff I want to show you guys today, including if you notice my lovely t-shirt here. I'm going to show you guys some of the new Hellwitch stuff that is now offered on the Lady Death Store. So definitely come check that out. Show you some of the cool stuff we've got offered for May the 4th. I don't have any um, <clears throat> actual items I'll be showing you on the web store page. So everyone can take a look. One of the first things we have to celebrate the uh, May 4th, and we do this every year, and it's always something fun people enjoy. We have a Lady Death Gallery number one, Return of Lady Slave, nice edition. And these are all on their store. $20 for the nice edition. And then, of course, to celebrate May 4th, we have Lady Death Gallery number one, Return of Lady Slave, uh, Lady Slave Naughty edition. On that so you can get a nice close-up of that this will be use the choppiness hey Daryl how are you so this is available on the lady death store I'm going just to show you some of the cool stuff we have for May the 4th another awesome is lady death lingerie number one this is the smile edition Like you say, you can get your stuff signed by clicking right there. You can have them unsigned. This is the Lady Death Lingerie Number One Smile Edition. Another cool item we're offering, and a cool, 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 cool. This is uh, another homage. This is Lady Death Merciless Onslaught Number One. This is the Death Raven Edition. So all you 70 Marvels fan. Hey, Daryl. How was your weekend, buddy? Hope you were well. Being safe? Good. Glad every. hope everyone's safe. This one's going for $20. And all this stuff is on the Lady Death store. It'll be right on the front page. This is all the May 4th stuff we are offering. Another cool homage. And item, I don't know if it's still available, but the Lady Death Scorched Earth Naughty Lady Slave Metal Editions popped up. We made very few amounts of these. And a lot of this stuff, like I say, when we do these, uh, these promos, things go really fast. Uh, once they open up, people start going crazy. It's another metallic edition. This is the Lady Death Bless Me Anthem Death Wars Metallic Edition. And this is another really cool homage. And it's an homage to the Star Wars number one from Marvel Comics in 1977. And one thing that's really interesting with the uh, Star Wars from Marvel is it actually came out before the movie did. So a lot of people were reading up and seeing things that were going to be happening in theaters. I remember a really cool thing about Star Wars is waiting. Literally, it took us... movie came out in May. Uh, I was about five years old. My sister had just turned three. 
And for our birthdays, we would always go to movies. And the one theater we wanted to go to was the Cine Capri, because when you wanted to see epic films, that's where you went to go see things like Star Wars and Star Trek, Close Encounters, Jaws, just huge 70 millimeter screens, huge screens, really, really classy theater. I wish it was still around, beautiful theater, but we used to like dress up in our Sunday best to go to that theater because it was so fancy and swank. It took us till August, September before we could actually go to theater to actually see the movie. So three to four months it took to see Star Wars in theaters in 1977 when I was a kid. It was like nothing I had ever seen um, ever in my life. Just lines upon lines wrapping around the Seneca Free Theater for days. People camping out just to get in to see this movie. It was like nothing I had ever seen at that time. So it was a really big deal. It was, I know my dad was a big sci-fi fan. He really wanted to go see it. And um, my mom as well. They were both Trek fans and he wanted to see what this Star Wars thing was about. So it took us four months to see it. And I'll never forget the screen going dark. They open up the side curtains even more for the whole 70 millimeter print of the film. And then right as you see that long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, and then there's that pause, and then boom, Star Wars. It literally gives me goosebumps to this day, remembering just the music queuing up and boom, and just all oh, the excitement of like, I get to see something that everyone's been talking about and it's taken four months to see. And I remember my mom reading the scroll up to me, um, as the, it was crawling up to the screen and that opening battle scene right over Tantui was jaw dropping. I will never forget it and I don't think anybody who was there who saw Star Wars when it first came out will ever forget that dramatic sequence that started it, the music, the everything, the, the effects. It was like nothing you'd ever seen. And it was amazing. And Coffin Comics, every May 4th, we celebrate it. And these are some more of the additions we have. We have um, print sets available, so you can order all the prints we're doing. Look at that. This is all on the Lady Death store. Get this stuff while you can. These are all 11 by 17 prints. Two, four, six, eight for $100. And that's a set of everything we're offering. And you can get those items signed by the great Brian Polito. Some other stuff we're showing we're showing off to uh, celebrate. Here's those independent or those individual prints. You have the Lady Death Death Wars Lady Slave action figure. Sixteen dollars. The Death Raven homage. Very cool. We love our homages. And if you heard Brian's story, there's a theme for um, a lot of the homages we do. Um, they're right around that period of time of the 70s when Brian really thought that for him, comic books really just, Marvel was just running on all cylinders and just doing a hell of a job putting out horror and sci-fi stuff. Lady Death, this is the lingerie smile. Again, $16. This is one of the prints we're offering for May the 4th. Let's see. Daryl, you read the books? Do, did, was the book out before the film? And if so, did you uh, spoil the ending for yourself? Return of Lady Slave Naughty. It's another print we have for May the 4th. All this stuff is on the Lady Death Store. Just click on the link for the Lady Death Store and pick up all your good items we're offering for May the 4th. Hope everyone, again, had a wonderful weekend and having an even better Monday because Mondays are, well, they're Mondays. Nothing you can do about them. Just roll with them punches and take your licks and move on. Lady Death, Return of Lady Slave. This is the nice edition.
Again, all our prints are $16. You can get your stuff, say you have a thing, so you can click on there if you want it unsigned or if you want it signed. And then the quantities you want to add on there. And you can even email it to your friends if you're like, hey, everybody, I really think you would like this. Check it out. Um, let's see. Pre-order, we anticipate shipping this product uh, week ending May 29th. Artwork is done by uh, David Harrigan. Love that man's work. Some other really cool prints we're offering. This again was offered last year. We did a metal print this year of it, but this is the Death Wars print. Really, really cool stuff. While I'm out here rapping with you guys, I'd love it if you tell me uh, a Star Wars story um, if you want to share with everyone. Always like when everyone shares their awesome stories, whether it be about the cool stuff they got from Coffin and the Comics era, or just people talking about total nerd stuff. That's where we're here. We're geeks just like you. We're all into our own thing. And this week, this today, we're celebrating Star Wars. Oh, we got some more of the uh, Lady Slave uh, metallic cards. We were able to get... Uh, Get some more of those in stock. So those are available now. And if I recall, I probably have about 60-ish copies of um, those metals cards. So they're running low. Usually we do a couple hundred. Daryl, you didn't see it till years later. Hey, Lee, how are you? My favorite Star Wars character... Luke Skywalker, he was probably not a monster character, but the first, like, human character uh, that I just really rooted for, and that was Luke Skywalker. I used to always love to play Luke Skywalker when we were playing with my friends um, on the playground. Um, I just thought he was a really cool character, and I just loved watching his arc through that first trilogy. It was just a lot of fun to, to watch. Um, but yeah, it's Luke Skywalker. Uh, he was my, my big, uh, hero, uh, favorite character. And then I saw the Superman movie a year later and Superman goes, okay, wait, Godzilla, Superman, Luke Skywalker, pretty much in that order. And then Hulk, Spider-Man, so on. So that's my little geek list. Haley, how you guys doing? Cougar, hi. Hey, thank you. Uh, luckily, I only cracked the uh, safety screen, not the screen screen. Yay, safety screens. Um, so yeah, that's some of the stuff. I'll be showing you guys some more of this. Um, other items will be showing up on the uh, for May the 4th. And also, I want to tell you guys, also on the Lady Death store, we have released the Hellwitch stuff. So we have t-shirts, like the one I'm wearing now, some Hellwitch t-shirts available. And they are $25.00. They're very nice and soft, I gotta say. Really vibrant colors. Really beautiful image. Um, if you're a Hell Witch fan or just a Cough Comics fan, get these shirts while we got them because once they're gone, that's it. So scoop them up, scoop them up, scoop them up. $25. They are in stock. Some other things while I'm talking about Hell Witch. For the Kickstarter, the Hell Witch Forsaken, number one. This is the premiere edition. I love that beautiful hollow foil green right there in the text. It's gorgeous. And this is chapter two of the one and only Hell Witch Saga, brought to you by the amazing people at Coffin Comics. <laughs> Daryl, get the shirt. If you haven't gotten already, get them. Uh, we have them available. So I'll be showing you um, some of the uh, Hell Witch stuff that we have available. I didn't get everything, but um, whatever I don't have, I'll show you on my little phone. With my semi crack screen. Another Kickstarter offering. This is the Hell Witch Forsaken Risque and Slippery Edition. And this is limited to 150 copies. I made sure I did extra tape on those pasties. Yes, yes, Haley, jump on these. I'm sure. Uh, T-shirts uh, go really fast for us. Um, 
there's some additions that I, I've seen folks wear and I, I wish I could have gotten my hands on some. So some beautiful Lady Death ones that we had offered and they just, they go. Um, really popular, we don't make a ton of them. We make a, a good, nice quantity to offer for the Kickstarter and afterwards. We usually have some stock afterwards. So Hellwitch fans, t-shirts, ladydeathstore.com. Check them out. Oh, and of course, we always do it right with these beautiful jeweled editions. This is Hellwitch, the Forsaken Jeweled Edition. It was limited to 350 copies. And Schwarzky jewels are inlaid all along the skulls here. Each of the eyes have red. And then we have little ones on her waistline there, on the bikini, and up in her neck. Really beautiful work. And there's even some right here, the little yellow ones, for the candles. Really cool stuff. You can find all this stuff at the uh, ladydeathstore.com. This is all the Hellwitch stuff we are offering. Um, so yeah, definitely get them while we got them. They're, they will go quick. And of course, some of my favorite editions, the metal editions. These are available at ladydeathstore.com. Click on the link and pick up your Hellwitch items and all the May the uh, fourth be with you stuff we're offering as well. This is uh, 250 editions were made of the heavy metal edition of Hellwitch the Forsaken. I accidentally grabbed two instead of one. Um, so, make sure to get those back to the warehouse at HQ. Another beautiful metal jeweled edition of Hellwitch the Forsaken. There was only 150 of these made. Just see which one did the cover. And again, it's a metallic cover. And you have the Schwarzky crystals lined up all around here. Really beautiful stuff. Ace, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? Yes, sparklies, cougar. Sparklies. <laughs> I feel like... I'm back at the office where Brandy's yelling out, Sparkles! <laughs> uh, some other really popular items. We do uh, we did print up some more of the um, original art editions. And these are really great blank covers. So you can have one of the many awesome Coffin Comic Artists uh, contributors do an original piece for you. And one thing that's cool about it, a unique piece, one of a kind, only you have. And that's one thing I really think these are great. Find your one of your special artists, um, pay them the fees they offer, and you have a nice original cover art edition for yourself and for your collections. One thing that's really nice is it is total wrap around, so they can do a wrap around piece for you, for your art. Yeah, these items, just click on the link for the Lady Death store. And I'll be talking a little bit today about the Hellwitch Kickstarter editions we just made available. And the um, May the 4th uh, Be With You uh, promo we're also running today. So click on that link up above for the Lady Death Store and pick up all these great exclusives. We also have the Hellwitch. Uh, uh, the Forsaken, this is the black and white edition. And what it is, is a nice little 24 page. And it's just all the, the pencil sketches, just really beautiful. No text, just pure, beautiful, wonderful looking pencil sketches. Look at that. That is beautiful art, guys. Really beautiful art. And this is the Lady Death, the Forsaken Black and White Edition. And, of course, no Kickstarter over at Coffin Comics would be without the awesome and the amazing homage.
really gorgeous. Only 400 of these were made. Marat Michaels, Dan Feldmeyer worked on this for us. If I recall, I believe this is a uh, homage of the first appearance of Wolverine. Could be mistaken, but that's what this cover reminds me of, Wolf 181. And then I was able to grab a hold of the hollow foil editions. Really gorgeous hollow. This thing is just gorgeous, beautiful. <laughs> it's in your fab. Nice. I like everyone saying hi to each other. Everyone introduce yourselves, man. We're all fans here. We're all fiends. We are all the sworn. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad you guys are all talking, and I hope everyone's friending each other uh, and posting all the cool stuff that they've been uh, picking up at the Lady Death store and other places that they've been finding these collectibles. Um, so uh, it's really great to have such a wonderful community of all you folks here. Um, definitely uh, makes uh, Mondays real special for me. Okay. Now on to some of the stuff I post on eBay. I wasn't able to get a lot done uh, this week because um, one of my other jobs is um, doing wholesale accounts. So I've been uh, working with Psycho Sean on some big uh, wholesale accounts, so that took up most of my day. And then, you know, being on the phone with uh, CenturyLink about, hey, why aren't you boosting my internet? So, you know, but hey, we're always having fun. Um, I want to do a shout out to Psycho for all the wonderful training he's uh been uh, doing with me uh, for the uh, last four or five weeks or more. Um, thank you, Psycho. You're the best, man. Thank you. One of the items, and I don't know if these are left because these were going pretty quick. Um, I posted the Friday the 13th. These are royal blue foil covers. And these are in the eBay store. Um, a lot of this stuff uh, went out really fast. Like, as soon as I posted, bing, 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 gone. And I was like, Jim and Cricket. Um, but thank you, everyone, who's been <laughs> uh, checking out the eBay store. Uh, I really do appreciate it. I'm glad I'm finding the cool stuff for y'all to collect. Also, I posted up a uh, royal blue foil cover of Nightmare on Elm Street, special number one. And they only did a 100 of each of these foil covers. That's it. Um, Brian presented these to me. I... Again, just like with everything, I'm like, where are you finding all this amazing stuff, Brian? Thank you so much for um, bringing this stuff out. And let's give a round of applause to uh, Brian for um, hooking us all up with these wonderful books I've been showing you lately, you guys. Thank you. Woo, let's hear from Brian. Brian! Another really cool royal blue foil. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, special one. Again, there's only a hundred of each of these made. Once I am out of these, that is it. Unless I'm luckily to find some more in the amazing boxes I get to go through. Um, so get it while you got it. Don't delay. Get it today. Uh, another item I had listed on our eBay store. I did a uh, mock-up of the Hell Witch, Hellborn, Witchman metal cover. This is something we offered over at the Fiend Fest. This is a mock-up. And again here, mock-ups. And I'll read you what the uh, COA says. Uh, produces mock-up, mock Coffin Comics produces mock-up editions to market, promote upcoming editions to readers and collectors. They frequently have no interior printings, uh, are not the final product, and are handled during promotional, hence they are prone for imperfections. Mock-up editions, which range in the number of from one to four copies per select edition, are assets of Coffin Comics until sold or gifted. Mock-up mock editions are offered in as is condition and will not be reprinted. This document hereby certifies the authenticity of this mock-up edition, except with no limitations. Really great, great metal cover. Who just jumped in to join us? Oh, my lovely wife. Hi, Susie Palmaraga. How are you? Well, thank you for watching. 
Uh, Tiny, my lovely assistant, uh, may pop in like last week. She's very curious where I set up all my stuff um, to do the shows, and um, she loves just walking up and sneaking behind things and watching what I do. Um, that's my cat. She follows me around like shadow. Uh, this is the La Muerta Descent. This is the Gomez Metal Mock-Up Edition. Real beautiful metal. And there you go. It's a little Fiend Fest offering. And uh, I've been talking to some of you folks uh, on eBay who have been messaging me about items. Um, <laughs> I can't wait to meet all these folks coming to Swarm Fest. There's a lot of people coming out to Swarm Fest. So still get your tickets. They're still available it's not till February of next year in beautiful Mesa, Arizona, and I'm sure the weather's going to be gorgeous. So definitely, if you haven't gotten your tickets or thought about it, get them. Great deal. Meet all the sworn. Meet all the fiends. Meet all of the fans that like all the cool stuff you do in one spot in Mesa, Arizona. Sworn Fest 2021. Got to check it out. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sure um, my wife will probably be going to some of the after party events. So yeah, we will definitely uh, try to get her there and meet y'all. Another cool thing I have loaded up onto the eBay store. Just click on the links. This is the mock-up of Lady Death. Uh, this is the uh, Harrigan Metal. You say this is a mock up. It is not the score number one. And there's a COA to state that it was a mock up edition that we use for advertising and um, when we're doing our great videos to get you guys all pumped on some of the amazing stuff that we do at Coffin Comics. And probably the coolest thing I found, I'm going to do it very dramatically. I have one of these. Malibu Sun, number eight, first Evil Ernie. Look at that. I have one of these on the eBay store right now. Um, it is a bid. Um, so if you haven't picked this up and you're a big, big Evil Ernie fan, this is the thing to get. This is the thing to get. Hi, honey. How are you? Haley, Susie says hi, and she wants to meet you at Swarm Fest. Another really cool item I have. Two of these each on the uh, Lady, Death, uh, Lady Death eBay, eBay store. EB store. eBay store. Blah, 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 blah. Tongue tied. This is the La Muerta Descent Chrome. This is a metal cover. Richard Ortiz did the covers of this. <laughs> uh, it's S-U-S-I-E. Haley, can't wait to meet you next year. <laughs> Haley, she just told me she will be there. So she will be there. Another cool item bloated. Uh, another La Muerta. This is a metal cover Descent. This is the luxury edition. I got a couple of these on there. <laughs> Susie, Susie. <laughs> Haley, you're awesome. <laughs> What's that? Haley, Susie's going to friend you on Facebook, so look out for that notification. Oh, I also was able to upload a really cool vault book. This is Lady Death Lingerie. This is the Black Heart Edition. I just uploaded one of these this morning. Beautiful. Uh, Elias Chadzuda did the cover. Beautiful piece. This is really gorgeous. This is something we offered on Valentine's Day, and they flew out of the stores. Um, there's even a real beautiful hollow foil cover of this. It's beautiful pieces. Beautiful pieces. Just like everything we produce for you guys. Beautiful. Dark and beautiful. And I'll probably be working um, 
late this evening that I'll be uh, uploading stuff like the publisher file of the David Harrigan Hellwitch Gallery. I'll be doing another um, publisher file copy of the Hellwitch Slabbed edition. So I'll be uploading those when I'm done here with you all. I'm going to go back in there and upload some stuff onto the store. Also uploading a couple of the really awesome yo-yo covers. And these are, um, I'll have, this is the Demon Princess Premiere Edition. There's only 11 of these produced. So I'll be putting those up on the store. Another yo-yo publisher file for all you yo-yo fans. This is the Hell Witch Premiere Edition. There was only 33 published of this. So I'll be loading up this right after I'm done with this show. Then I'll also be uh, processing some other really cool foil editions as well, or publisher files, Kincaid pencils I'm going to be loading up. Only 20 of these were made. The McKay Premier Nice Edition. I'm putting this up on eBay today. I'll also be putting up the Sworn Number no. 1 Ortiz Premier Nice Edition. Only 40 of these were published. So we'll be putting some of those up today after I'm done. Another cool thing, uh, I plan to upload uh, two sets of the Lady Death Commemorative Challenge Coin sets. So I'll be putting two on the eBay store today once I'm done with y'all. Give me a second to take a drink of this tasty beverage. Today I will be drinking the Arizona Iced Tea Watermelon Fruit Juice. Don't know how much fruit juice is in it, but it states 10%, so um, I got 10% juice today, folks. Woohoo, 10%. It's better than no percent, I guess. Wow. Ooh, wow, that's really tasty. some other fun stuff I have found around. Found some really cool old chaos stuff. I'll be uploading, um, maybe not today, definitely later this week, keep an eye out, um, Lady Death Commemorative Number 1 Edition. And this one's signature by Mr. Brian Polito right there. So I'll be uploading this later in the week. Another thing I found that I, <laughs> I, I got so excited over, um, Between Heaven and Hell 1, this is the um, chrome cover. Amazing art by Stephen Hughes. So I'll be uploading all this stuff next onto the eBay store. And sorry I uh, didn't have time to do them today. Um, I was able to really list some things that had dropped off, so I got those populated and up and ready to go. And then um, today and tomorrow, I'm going to get back at it just for all you wonderful people. Also, Between Heaven and Hell 1, this is the Velvet. Yes, I found one. Um, so far, this is the only ones I've found of these, uh, both the Velvet and the Chrome and the commemorative. I have only found one of each of these uh, so far. I'm hoping, um, you say I've gotten lucky and I've been able to find some more stuff too. So some of the stuff I've been out of, I'll uh, relist them right up there. Another thing uh, I'm gonna look forward to holding up will be the uh, classic. It's also signed by Brian. Lady Death Alive number one. Be uploading one of these bad boys up. And then I also found, and I totally forgot, uh, Brian worked on these, but uh, the old Detonator series. I found a nice little healthy stack of these, so I'm going to be uploading these as well. And remember, with all foil covers, premium foils, chromium covers, they come with a warning, do not look them at 
Sunlight, because you could go blind. Direct sunlight and these reflecting back into your eyes is dangerous. These books are dangerous. Kidding, kidding. So I'll be uploading some of the detonators, and then I also found, going through there, the other uh, detonator chromium cover. It's a, no text, just, I should say, no colors. Just beautiful chrome foil. Yeah, that classic Chaos Comics. Awesome stuff. There was 5,000 of this made, so I'll be putting up whatever I have in stock onto the Lady Death eBay store. Hmm, pardon me. Detonators. Also, the uh, I found a couple copies of the Rack and Pain with an awesome Jay Lee cover. So I got some of these. I'll be putting up some of the classics that I found. Then another cool one, uh, Lady Death Killers. Number one, this is the Bone Edition. And it's funny because it's a flub. You got Brian's signature up top. And then you got Brian's signature at the bottom. And then we have uh, Jeff Kinnear down here. And he signed it twice. So <laughs> this is uh, a really cool piece. Um, well, that's just... <laughs> Some other really cool stuff to... Uh... Keep an eye out on eBay. Lady Death Tiki edition. And this is number six, so this is a vault book. So I'll be loading up one of those. Probably the only one at this point. Oh. I absolutely adore this cover. This, this cover series is just amazing lady death gallery number one this is the trick-or-treat edition schwartzky crystals and let around the stars in the background it's really adorable art so i'll be uploading this again this is a vault book um i haven't found any copies at all period outside of just a vault book and another really Really cool ones. I absolutely, this is another one of the favorite editions. We don't do many, but La Muerta, and this is a hand colored, hand, also known as the handcrafted editions. This is hand colored. All of, none of these look the same. They were all different color schemes. Really, really cool. This is a Richard Ortiz piece of work. And if I recall, Mr. Jason Jensen went through and hand-colored each of these. Um, there was 33 produced. This is number 30. So I'll be uploading um, this one this week as well. And I got tons of other stuff. But again, um, I'm going to be uploading two of the uh, Lady Death commemorative challenge coin sets. Um, these are the ones uh, I got uh, at the Christmas party. Yeah, I think I showed some of you guys these before, but I love, you have a nice magnetic box. Just flip that up. Boom. Really nice three-piece set. And I just love the sound that makes when it closes. You snap. Bam. Now you know it's all secure and sealed. Hi, Tiny. How are you? What are you doing out here? You come to see what Daddy's selling? Come to talk to everyone? On the books? on the internet so again uh, I'm going to be talking today about the Hell Witch Kickstarter offerings that we recently put up onto the Lady Death store and our May the 4th promo is live it's going fast it's going strong stuff will sell out so if there's something you see for the May the 4th promo get it because poof They'll be gone to a galaxy far, far away. See what I did there? See what I did there? So the stuff we'll be doing is, um, this is the Lady Death Gallery number one. This is the Return of Lady Slave. This is now up on our Lady Death store. Right up there. 
So click on the Lady Death Store links and scoop up these items that we're offering. We also have the Lady Death Gallery number one, Return of Lady Slave. This is the naughty edition. Oops, almost knocked my camera off the tripod there. That would be a total no bueno. So again, and this is how it looks um, on the uh, mobile device. I have an, a Droid phone, so it's really nicely laid out. It's got the breakdown of the edition, your prices, you know, when you could expect to ship, the item code, um, you can punch in if you uh, want it unsigned or if you want it signed. Um, it does add some time to the orders if you are requesting signed books. That way we can get everything laid out and you've seen the photos Brian's is, is posted. The man is a signing maniac. Um, I think we should start keeping account for him to see if we can get entered into the Guinness Books of World Records because I think Brian could totally do that and win it every year. Um, man loves signing stuff. He has no problem signing stuff for the fans. Um, so if you want signed items, go to the Lady Death Store, click on the item you want, and we'll make sure to get it signed for you. All right, we're also selling the Lady Death Lingerie. This is a Smile Edition. This is for our May the 4th promo. Happy May the 4th to everyone. It's only $30. And again, you can have it signed or unsigned. And your quantities, add to cart. Email to a friend to give to say, hey, I think you might like this. And you click on it. Go ahead and email it to your friend. Really, really nice, nice, nice design of this uh, website on, on mobile devices. I got to say, it's very easy to navigate. It's very easy to search for things on here. Um, it looks great on your uh, computer or your laptops. Of course, it does look differently. Um, but since I'm showing you everything on the phone, since I don't have these editions, I thought I would show these all to you. Again, this is the homage that we're offering for May the 4th. The Death Merciless Onslaught Death Raven Edition. And this will be a 24-page edition of Merciless Onslaught, not 48-page. Oh, Cougar, it's nuts. It, it's, it's nuts, especially after uh, a Lady Death Kickstarter. I mean, we have tables set up throughout the entire um, HQ. And... Even with all these tables set up, there's still more stuff for him to sign. The man is a machine, and it's really impressive to just watch him go in there and just, he gets himself psyched and sh -sh -sh, sign, 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 he says, and he takes a picture of all the layouts. Some of the pictures you're seeing that he takes of him signing his books are just a small percentage of what's laid out for him to sign. So and I love looking at those pictures, and it always amazes me. So I think we should start keeping a tally and... See if we can't get into Guinness Books of World Records. Uh, here's a metal edition we're offering. There's still some available. I don't know how many are left at the moment, but this is the Lady Death Blasphemy Anthem number one, Death Wars Metallic Edition. It's a great homage cover to the first issue of Marvel Comics Star Wars number one back in 1977. So I believe there was maybe. 25 of these made maybe less so if you see something you like get it because once they're gone some of these items are gone we do very limited numbers on some of these ones especially the metals again even though it's a metal cover brian will sign it click to see if you want it signed go ahead and enter your quantity boom or if you want to email to your friend say hey quick they got this great homage cover that's a metal cover you better check it out quick before it's gone um so yeah really really easy to navigate um, the Lady Death Store. It is so fun to navigate. And it has a cool little breakdown of everything about the story and the edition. And it also tells you, oh, if you like this, here's some related items we have for you. So yeah, it's a really great, great site. Really nicely designed. And then, of course, I am also letting everyone know about the Hell Witch Kickstarter items. Um, we have some t-shirts left, so just go to the ladydeathstore.com, 
and click on the Hell Witch Forsaken items and you'll see it just after the promo items for all the Star Wars items, you'll start to see the Hell Witch items also on there. So this is one of the t-shirt the we made for the Hell Witch Kickstarter. We are offering them to the public. This is a really nice shirt, very soft for folks who like really soft uh, t-shirt material. Really, really nice, soft, very delicate on the skin skin it makes me feel fabulous some other cool things that we also have offered up to the public hell witch the forsaken this is the premiere edition we have lots of these up in stock uh i'm doing the new kickstarter signing <laughs> this is chapter two of the hell witch series And again, Hell Witch, The Forsaken, Risque, and Slippery Edition. Only 150 of these were published, so jump onto the ladydeathstore.com and scoop them up if you see anything you like. Um, again, anything at the Lady Death Store you can get signed. Just go ahead and um, the underneath the item and ask if you want it signed or unsigned. Just go ahead and click in that, put your quantities in, you are good to go. This is... The and we made about 350 of these. So these are all available. Schwartzky crystals. And let in all the skull's eyes down below and along the sides here. Her choker has got some nice jewels as well as the candles. And on her little bikini waist right there. I guess that's a proper way. The bikini waist? Bikini line? The bikini. It's got a nice beautiful crystal on her bikini. And, of course, we are always known for our Heavy Metal Editions. This is How Witch Heavy Metal Edition. There was 250 of these made. These things are amazing, and they look great on your wall. They got some weight. These things are really cool. And these are the type of amazing things you can only get at Coffin Comics. We're always trying to think outside of the box. We're always trying to make things fun. We're always trying to make things... Just making collectability fun um, and creating a community of uh, like-minded fans and fiends and sworn that, as our motto goes, we make great comics for bad boys and girls. So, pass it along. Also, I've been seeing a lot of people um, introducing people to uh, our books and our characters, so thank you very much. Um, it's always fun when you uh, see posts from folks um, sharing um, our products to uh, people who they think are interested or some old fans that maybe don't know that Lady Death and Brian Polito are back publishing again independently. So thank you for passing those links around and thank you for uh, giving the nice words out to us all. Also on the Lady Death store, this is the Metal Jeweled Edition. And I just noticed, this is great. She's got little red jewels running along her brow right there. Really cool. I didn't notice that the first time around. Gorgeous. So one thing I, I love about our books is um, sometimes you won't notice them things right away, and then you'll go through, and you're like, oh, my God, I, I just noticed that. Especially when it comes to artwork and the backgrounds and stuff. Like on the uh, La Muerta books, I love to read the graffiti on the back walls um, of the books. It's always fun to read that stuff. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. So this is the Metal Jeweled Edition, uh, which the Forsaken, now available ladydeathstore.com Again, another popular items. Um, Hell Witch the Forsaken. This is an original art edition. It's a blank cover. It is the Forsaken book. All 48 pages. But it's blank on the front and back so you can have one of your favorite coffin comic artists go ahead and create an original piece that's unique to you and your collection. So really great stuff. Um, one of these days I might have to get me a uh, La Muerta uh, blank cover and get me a Joe Gomez sketch on it, which I think would be amazing. Again, um, the Hell Witch Forsaken Black and White Edition. Everything here I'm showing you today is at the Lady Death Store. Let's see. Oh, cool. Thank you, Cougar. Thank you for um, answering those surveys. Those are really important because um, we get a lot of good information from those surveys. So if you back a Kickstarter, please fill out this, the backer surveys. 
please, 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 we definitely want to get that uh, information we need and we can use for future Kickstarters. One thing that's really nice about this edition, the pages are not inked, it is just pencils. So you get to see the beautiful pencil work of uh, <clears throat> Mr. Bernard. Oh, let's get that one. And this is the controversial book that, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, that we had to switch printers with. Diego Bernard, look at that. I love looking at the pencil art because it really shows you just how things get flushed out and some of the wonderful detail once the inker and colorists get in. It's beautiful stuff, guys. Really beautiful stuff. Look at that. This is the entire Hell Witch the Forsaken, 24 pages of it, all pencil sketches. It's gorgeous stuff. Look at that art. Especially this cathedral up here. It's really nicely detailed. Beautiful pencil works, Diego. Beautiful stuff. Other cool edition that is available at the ladydeathstore.com on our new Hell Witch, The Forsaken. The always amazing homage editions. I always look forward to homages because I can't wait to uh, see if I can figure out what the homage is. Um, Brian is a big collector. You guys all know Captain America is his favorite comic book series and character. And it's a pleasure to be working with someone that's a big fan. Uh, working in comic book retail as long as I have. Just being in comics, you just meet some really amazing, colorful characters. Uh, and these are the people that create the books. And even shop owners are wonderful people. So, you know, if you haven't been to the shop in your neighborhood, stop by and say hey to them. See about getting caught the comics in the store. And my wife is dancing a little jig in the hallway. Okay. I bet. <laughs> She's getting jiggy with it. Oh, and there she goes again. <laughs> also on the Lady Death store, the Hell Witch Hollow Foils. Getting beautiful cover. Beautiful art. Don McTeague did this one. Look at this. And then I got to see the back cover. Look at that. Gorgeous. Text is nicely foiled. Beautiful breakdown of the story and where we left off. Hell Witch. Um, really fun stuff, guys. Thank you very much for supporting us. Thank you, everyone who's backed our Kickstarters and our other um, promotional things we do from time to time. And definitely, if you aren't aware of this, go to Swarmfest. Please get your tickets over at Swarmfest. There's a link right there. Click on them, scoop up those tickets. Great show. Three days of nothing but fun, comic books, artists, coffin comics, everything coffin comics. It's just always uh, the first uh, fest we did, the Fiend Fest last year, was a blast. I really enjoyed myself. And this one's going to even be bigger and better than Fiend Fest, guys. I'm telling you, you got to check it out. There's people from all over the world. Haley who uh, is in Australia. She's going to be there. She's joined us today. Uh, Cougar, I hope you can make it. Um, I met a wonderful couple from France at uh, FiendFest. Um, I hope they can make it here to SwarmFest because it would be great to talk to them. Funny story is they came to Arizona expecting sunshine and warm weather. Um, no, we had a lot of rain that February. And FiendFest, there was just tons of rain. It was cold. Um, when I talk to the couple, it's like, oh, hey, how are you doing? Are you enjoying yourselves? They're like, yes, yes, but we thought the weather would have been warmer. So uh, we all had a good laugh at that. I was like, well, you know, um, <laughs> you guys brought the weather with you, and we had a doozy of a time, just a wonderful time. Great, uh, great panels. Uh, 98 QPD honored Brian um, and Lady Death. They made a Lady Death Day, made it official. He even got a really kick-ass guitar. Um, just <laughs> great times, guys. Great times. And it's a good chance to uh, meet all the other uh, Swarmed and Fiends that uh, you've probably only talked to online. Cougar. Don't hope. Do. There is no hope. Oh, no, let's try. I'm trying to be Yoda-ish, and I'm failing miserably. Um, but if you can make it cougar, please do. 
uh, everyone who watches these videos, uh, thank you again. Uh, I hope to meet you all at Swarm Fest, if any and all who can make it, because I want to see some faces to the emails. Next week, during the video, we should do something really crazy. What crazy stuff should we do? <laughs> you want me to cut my hair next week? I don't know. Saturday you can tie to your face or something. All right. Well, how about this? What do you guys want next week? Do you want me to cut off my hair and donate it um, to uh, one of the charities that uh, makes wigs for kids with cancer, or only if you yeah, only if you like get a certain amount like if you can find something. <laughs> If I could sell out of everything I posted in one day, I will take a pie to the face or I will shave my head bald no, and donate my hair. Why can't I shave my head bald? You can get a palm. <laughs> you can get a bald. I'll, I'll force you. All right. All right. So uh, everyone heard that. Uh, we'll have to think of something wacky um, to do next week, something special. I'm wrapping things up here again um, as I say everybody thank you everyone for joining us uh, thank you everyone for making this show and making me uh, feel like I'm one of you all um, it's been a great community I've had a lot of fun talking to everyone I, I really love the messages I've been getting on uh, eBay and I just want to shout out to everyone I look forward to meeting all these folks that have been messaged me on eBay hope to see you all at Swarm Fest Thank you all for coming, and again, May the 4th be with you. Coffin Comics has definitely been doing some cool, cool items for you guys to check out, so go to the ladydeathstore.com and load up on these really great uh, May the 4th items we're offering you, and it's hard to believe we're already in May. We're almost halfway through 2020, and it's been a heck of an interesting year. Uh, I'm sure everyone else can agree with me. Heck of an interesting year. Let's see if we can't um, make it into an even better note than all the other previous years combined. So thank you everyone for joining. Thank you everyone for checking out the items we've been offering at Coffin Comics, uh, both the Lady Death Store and the eBay Store. Um, thank you everyone for everything. Uh, we cannot do what we do without your support. We are very grateful. We pray to the comic gods uh, every every week because we are sworn to you guys and we cannot do any of the amazing stuff we do without your support and your love and your patronage. So thank you everyone. We really do appreciate you. From everyone in the warehouse, we appreciate you. Um, sometimes these shows make me a little nervous. Uh, sets off my anxiety, but once I see these wonderful posts from you guys and the messages you guys send me um, and I hope you will join me next week when I have some other more cool stuff I'll be uploading and hopefully showing you some other really cool stuff we'll be offering on the Lady Death store um, hopefully uh, we'll rebroadcast this uh, from time to time throughout our YouTube channel also sign up for our VIP letter it'll get you everything up to date and it is a huge source of information. I am done today. My name is Hooligan. I'm sworn to you. Thank you very much. And may the fourth be with you. Thank you, everyone, and have a wonderful night. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye.